Hi all. I want to talk with you about why I chose Christianity part two. Uh, bit so. So yeah. So the reason why. So the reason why I chose Christianity because, you know. Like I said in my previous video, you know, I chose Christianity. I chose Christianity because I wanted to give it a try, just to see how it how it is, and I've never never officially looked back, because now I've been, I would say, I've been a Christian for. Thirteen years now, thirteen years, yeah. So I have to do the maths slowly. I'm slow at maths. Well, I don't want to cost myself. I shouldn't say that. Rebuke the angels' name. So basically, I've been a Christian for that long, and throughout that time period, I don't, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know if I, if I, if I ever, if I ever backslid them because. What can you do? What can you do when you when you when you were when you was at a stage in your life when you when you felt low and you felt your heart change, and between that heart being changed and you psyching yourself up, you know, in a in a in a changing cubicle in a gym, between in the same period when you when you felt so low and you felt as if you were gonna backslide and you. And your and your heart just changed, and you you suck yourself up, and you and you realize, you know, I've got so much more to give and so much more to live for. So I don't know if I actually officially backslid. So throughout throughout the time I've been a Christian, I've never officially looked back on it since I've given it a try. Christianity, I never officially looked back on it and, re and regretted my decisions. You know, I've learned, you know. God is always revealing Himself to us individually, but we, but as a Christian, we just got to, and, and as human beings, we've got to give God the time to, to, to give God the time and patience to, to make, to make Himself known in, in our lives as individuals, as human beings. So, I think that's the reason why I. I also, you could say, chose Christianity because I wanted more, think more of God, more of God in my life, and God never, no, God never fails to, God never fails to reveal Himself to us, because as preachers have said, we can go as far as we want with God, and it's down to us. We're controlling it of how far we can go with God. Of how far we can reveal, of how far God can reveal Himself to us, but it's down to us being willing, willing, willing. It's down to us being willing, willing unbelievers to let God reveal ourselves to us. So it's always good to give. It's always good to give Christianity a try. You can always, you can always freely, freely reject God. You know, God doesn't force Himself upon, force Himself upon us. We can reject God whenever, whenever, whenever we we are ready, but there's so much benefits and so much enjoyment and peace in Christianity that 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 will blow the mind, that will that will cease, that will that will pass understanding. And I know, really, basically, I'm not sure if this if this is what she if if this is what she struggled with. Oprah, Oprah, Win, Oprah Winfrey, because basically she struggled with with a passage in the Bible. In uh, I read it out to you in in the New King James version and NKJV version of the Bible in Exodus, Exodus twenty verse five, where it says. You shall not bow down to them, 
nor serve them, for I... Wait a minute. One minute. So let me go let me go back a bit on this chapter and verse because there's a yeah so it says it says in the king james again the the new king new king james exodus 20 exodus 20 verse 3 it says you shall you shall have no other gods before me v4 you shall not make for yourself for yourself a carved image any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the the earth you shall not bow down to them nor serve serve them for 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 i am uh, for i the lord your god am a jealous god so let me just see the time. So the reason, so like I said before, I'm not sure if, sure if this, this is the reason why Oprah, Oprah, Winf, Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey rejected God because this, because this, this, because this passage, because because I think she says she struggled with that passage being a jealous yeah but let me explain it anyway where it, where it says i am i the lord i am a jealous god the reason why the reason why god is jealous jealous that you're worshiping another god it, uh, apart from him is because there's so much so much blessings that god can lavish upon human beings when we serve him so much blessings that we can pour upon him and so much benefit and and so many things that we can be happy so so many so many ways that god can make us feel happy and 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 god can pour out his spirit upon us upon human beings to make human beings happy and joyful and peaceful in, in our hearts and bodies there's so much there's so much that god can pour up pour, pour upon us that when that when we serve when we serve another god that's nothing to do with the christian that's nothing to do with the christian god or jesus basically more than more than half of that half of that blessing like or not or none or none of that blessing will, will happen when we serve when we serve another god we god can't god can't lavish his blessing upon us when we when we serve another god he can't really he can't really benefit he can't really he can't really benefit us fully when we serve another god so I know I'm going going away from the subject, but I'm just trying to give you a meaning of 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 why of why of why of what of why I've chosen Christianity. So this this is one of it as well. That 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 explain that, that explanation. Also, you know, with with God with God there's. There's no limits to what you can do for God and do for yourself. There's no limits. There's no boundaries. As long as you follow what God is saying to you. Because if, if, if God says no to us, he's only saying it for our own benefit, not for his benefit. Because, because God wants to do great things for us. He wants to train us and, he, and, he, and, 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 and strengthen us in discipline and, and self-control. So, yeah. And, and to and to be able to and to be able to to be able, and, and and God can help us to be able to look after ourselves to be able to to be able to, to, be able to eat eat well and and, and, and and dress well and and have and have and be healthy God cares about these little things and 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 it's also God that provides really good health because the because the devil the devil just just comes to the de the devil just comes to steal kill and destroy like I've said in my other videos many others maybe or a few 
So, I mean, you can't you can't really let 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 these things slip your mind, especially when it comes to healing as well, where God can heal people. I know God doesn't heal all the time, but sometimes God wants to just strengthen us for the time being, so that we can be so that we can be prepared for for His full healing. So yeah. That's really, I think, there is another scripture I've got as well, where it says, where it says in the Bible about about believers being being the salt and light of the world. It's not just it's not just it's not just us as believers. It's also when when we when we when we when we probably meditate on this, we will feel we will feel. We will feel some kind of happiness by making, but we'll feel some kind of happiness, not some kind, but we'll feel we'll, we'll not some kind, but we'll feel happy when we when, when we are the, when we are when we are the salt and light of the world because we'll have an overwhelming overwhelming passion and in, an enjoyment for for serving other, for serving other people and helping other people to to be to be happy and joyful in their lives. So this this passage in the Bible where it says in New King New King James Version, Matthew five, verse thirty to sixteen, where it says where it, where it's titled "Believers are salt and light," where it says in thirteen, "You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned?" It is it is then good for nothing but to be thrown out out and trampled on foot on foot by on foot on 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 the foot on the foot by men. V fourteen. You are the light of the world of the world. A city that is set on 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 a hill cannot cannot be hidden. V fifteen. Nor do they light a lamp. And put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. V sixteen. Let your light so shine before before men, that that they that they may see your good work. And glorify your Father in heaven. So I read that last bit again. Let your light so let let your light so shine, so shine before before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father in, in heaven. So God can give us the give us the passion as well and. And not be haters of haters of men and women, but to love. Even even though we don't feel like loving anyone else, because we, because deep down we're feeling unhappy, but God can really renew that and and and, and make us feel, and and help us to feel happy, and just giving us the joy of the Lord. Which is what the which is what the Bible says: the the joy of the Lord is your strength. So yeah. That's all I have to say for now anyway, and God bless, take care, peace be with you.